Hey guys, it's Luna, and I look ratchet as hell. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm gonna talk about a story time because I started reading to them in the other video. I'm gonna be talking about two guys. One was one is Monkey Face, who have you heard about, and another dude will call him SpongeBob. That's the name that I came up with in my head. So with um freaking SpongeBob, you've never heard of him before, and he hasn't never he has heard of him, just up until recent. Cause remember when I did the mall, the whole the mall haul video? That's when I came back from the mall, and um he was there, and then that guy started calling him, and he's like, you know who is this? I'm like, cause I was like, he was asleep. We were both asleep in the back of my mom and dad. Because we both went to the mall, and you see how the buses are, like, there's, like, two seats, like, back, like, two seats, and the bus and shit. And then there's, like, like, let's say, like, right here, from here, it's, like, all, like, sideways. And then then there's, I think, from, like, the third to fourth seats, like this, there's the two seated, the two people seat, and then, um... From there, you could like sit with whoever you want. It's like you, cause I usually sit by myself. So then he like, oh, like I want to come along. I'm like, okay, sure. So he decided to tag along, tag along, and then I'm like, okay, sure, why not? And mind you, he's never met this dude before. He doesn't even know who the fuck he is. He doesn't even know. So just to give you a background about SpongeBob, me and him dated during eighth grade, but um, he. He didn't want to, like, continue dating because of his family reasons and then stuff like that. So then me and him lost, like, friendship. Like, he was being, like, an asshole to me all of a sudden. And then I started being an asshole to him. And all of that, you know. Like, bad relationships happen, you know. So, um, we're, like... Coming back home at this point, and this is where it's like I see his name again for the first time for like a long while. I think it's been like two years, yeah, two years or one year around there of me seeing his name because, um, one of my friends who I call mommy up to this day, me and her are good friends still up to this day, but I call her mommy because I feel like she's she's like one of my mothers and she's like a good friend. And, um, <clears throat> she knows him. And my friend, Randy, if you know who she is, which she was in my videos before, she, she knew something. And when I was going to go see my grandmother for the first time, I'm giving you a kind of like background story so you can like understand where I'm coming from. So I remember her telling me when I was coming back home with my grandmother, She's like, oh, like, he wants, to, the Spongebob wants to talk to you in person about something. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, can you tell me? I was texting her back. I'm like, can you just tell me what he wants to say? He's like, she's just like, oh, no, like, you have to wait. You have to come back. And then, because I missed the one day of school. And on the graduation day, they were calling perfect attendance records. I'm like, I can't beat the one. But back to the actual story, um... I come back and then he starts he starts talking about this girl for over a week. He's like, oh, like this girl is so cool. She's like awesome. She's like a good friend. But like I have feelings for her and I don't know how she feels about me. You know, you know when a guy and a girl like they're friends but they don't know if they like each other. They like they both like each other at the same point, but they don't want to make it so obvious. Because I did it, I was catching feelings for him and he was catching feelings for me. And I remember him talking about this girl. I started getting jealous because I'm like, fuck. I remember I got jelly a little bit in the other time. I'm like, fuck. Like, he, he likes this fucking girl. Shit. Fuck, I should have done a move. But I don't know if he likes me. Like, I'm in the head of, like, oh god, he doesn't like me. Fuck myself. Fuck it. And I remember he's like, oh, like, I don't know what should I tell her after I, like, I want to confess to her that I like her, but I don't know how she feels. And I'm like, 
Of course, me being a dumbass and not taking the fucking rap flags that he was giving me. Of course, I'm like, you should just tell her that you like her when you go see her. Like, no matter what you're doing, something that you're getting out of your trust, something that she probably, she probably might let you down, but um, it, deep in the inside, like, like she, she will know how you feel about her. And of course, we have our Chromebooks. When we have our Chromebooks in school in eighth grade, you will do work on it, or like you'll be watching your anime. <laughs> you'll be watching anime or YouTube, you know. So then, um, he he starts typing. He's like, "Oh, that girl is you." I'm like, "Oh my god!" I was catching feelings for him just a wee bit, but I wasn't expecting him to come out to me. I, I wasn't expecting to be the girl. I'm like. Psh. I was like blown away. I'm like. What? I was so confused. Because I was just like. No there's no way. You, I think you have the wrong person. And he's like. Oh no it's you. It's you. It's you. You're the girl that I like. I've been hiding it for over a year or two. I'm like. Not over a year or two. Oh my god. Over, like, half a year of the school year when I saw next to you, like, I thought you were cute, and I didn't say anything because I didn't know how you how you felt about me. I'm like, I just stood there, like, shocked at the fact that he said he liked me, and then eventually I did come out a little bit later saying that, oh, like, I did like him back. But we, we didn't make it official just yet. We didn't make it official. He told me he liked me. And I told him I liked him back. But I told him, oh, like, oh, he's just like, oh, like, I get it if you don't want to be in a relationship just yet. I'm like, and then he's like, oh, like, you could think about it, about the feelings. I'm like, I don't know. But, like, dude, like, we both like each other. Over, we found out that we like each other. We couldn't, like, stare at each other at all. Like, we just couldn't. And I remember him. When I came back from going, like, with my grandmother, going to pick up my grandmother from North or South Carolina, um, I remember he came up to me, and then she's like, he pulled me to the side, and he's like, oh. Like, he asked me all cute and shit, like, he was all blushing. He's like, oh, will you be my girlfriend? And I'm like, of course, why wouldn't I? Because I did like the dude back in the day. And then we went out for like a week. And then I remember him seeing him with another girl. I'm like. And after that time, we never spoke to each other ever again. Um, He blocked me from Facebook, Kick, and I think that's about it. I think he blocked me on. He didn't block me. I think he never blocked me on Facebook. I'm not too sure because that. Facebook got, like, deleted after that. And then my kick, he blocked it, I think. And so I've never heard of him again until, like, recently. When we came back from the mall, I saw, like, his name. I'm like... And, like, I started looking at it. Like, if it was, like, something, I'm like... You know, like, you know when a girl is, like, trying to be all, like, sneaky. Trying to check a guy's, like, messages. You're like... <clears throat> but I'm like, he's like, you know that person? I'm like, no way. No, that can't be SpongeBob at all. I'm like, nah, like, chill, nigga, chill. Like, nah. Because it was so weird. I'm like, a next boyfriend called my ma- my actual boy. Friend. What the fuck? I feel so uncomfortable at that point. I'm like, oh my god. Like, why? Why? I feel like karma tried to, like, get my ass back for what I did for other exes. But at this point, he doesn't know I'm actually dating him. So, I told him, I'm like, oh, go to the pictures because there are other people that are cold like him. So then he's like, oh, you know him? I'm like, yep, I do. And, um, me and, I wish that me and him were uh, we could have still be friends. I mean, he's not a bad dude. I know that. He's not a, like a bad guy and everything like that. He's not like that, but he started changing after we dated. 
Like, mind you, oh, we even oh, had, we were even holding hands in class. We had a class together. It was English, six and seven, and then eighth period. I will have lunch. We were holding, we were legit holding hands in class. And when a teacher passes by, we will just keep our hands to ourselves because we don't, we don't want nobody to know that we were dating. But there were like legit few people that knew that me and him were dating. But then when the teacher will go back over there, like we will hold hands. Again, we will like legit hold hands again, like, and then I remember I looked at him and what we had to do like class break, like we pretended to be friends, like that's how bad it fucking ended, cause he decided to end it like in a bad, like we really ended up in a bad note, but then those the shit that he started to do to me. He was just being like an asshole because I was just like, okay, we're going back to being friends. I'm like, I I got so mad at him and I still am mad at him. The fact that I still do not know what I did to that dude that he got so mad at me when he was the one who broke up with me. Like, I'm just over here like. Boy, what did I ever did to you that you were so mad at me to block me on kick? We could have still been good friends. Like, wh- where did I go wrong? Like, that's the only thing I want to know. And if you're watching out there, SpongeBob, you know who you are. Um, I don't know what did I do wrong to you. Because I I really don't know. I, I don't know. But I am happy with my man, so that's all I have to say. Um, I'm prob- I'm so happy with my promise ring that I got him and he got me, so I'm happy with it. And that was monkey face. Oh, God. I'm happy to say that monkey face moved away. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like so happy. But the more of the story with Spongebob, I don't ever know what was the reason why he blocked me. And why he pushed me away from being his friend. I really don't know anything. Um, if I do get a response from him, then I'll tell you. But I don't think I'll be given another person a chance besides the one here. Because we were talking about it earlier. About if you like, kick, he'll give like second chances to his ex. And he said like automatically, he's like, I never give a chance to another ex. I'm like, oh, oh God. But I'm like, would you ever give me a chance? He's like, you? Maybe. I'm like, whoa. Because we really care about each other no matter what. At the end of the day, we care about how we feel. So that's why. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope the lesson from SpongeBob is that you sometimes don't even... Probably you're not even the one who will cost anything. By the end of the day, you will still be blamed as the problem of you breaking up with your ex or something like that. And like I said before, Spongebob, if you're actually watching this, you know who you are. Um, I don't want to say your name for privacy reasons. And because I fucking respect you as a person still. I don't know what I did to you for the fact that you blocked me. Um, or just pushed me out of your life. I don't know where like that. We was we could still have been good friends up to this day, but I don't know what where did we go wrong. But and anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Please like and subscribe and subscribe for more content of mine. And I think it's compared to the love that your loved ones give you. And I'll see you next time in my, uh, in my next video for next week. Which is going to be the whole week I will be uploading videos. Just to let you know, Thursday, this video will be going up as a story time. And I will see you guys next time because this video is so long and I need to sleep. Peace.